Hello children, nice to meet you once again. Today our lesson focuses on unit 3 of your grade 10 textbook. This is the first one we are going to study for unit 3. Today we are going to do a vocabulary lesson. Let's learn how to use vocabulary related to travel appropriately. Let's start the lesson. I know you all like traveling. When we travel from one place to another, we make use of different modes of transport. Can you name some of them? You have the car, bus, motorcycle, lorry, and then you have the bicycle, you have the airplane, you have the ship and the train. Okay, now let's learn some more words that can refer to various modes of travel. These are not very common ones. Look at this activity. This is activity 1 on page 22 of your textbook. You have the words referred to various modes of travel with their pictures. Let's match the words with the pictures. You can pause the video and try now. Let's check your answers now. What is the first word you have here? It's tram car. Which picture shows the tram car? Is the first row middle one? Let's write tram car in the box. Children, do you know what a tram car means? Tram car is an electrically driven public transport vehicle that runs on rails. Now look at the second word. It's space shuttle. Can you guess the picture? It's the last picture. It's a vehicle in which people travel into space and back again. Let's write it there. Now the third picture. Here you have the hovercraft. I think you're not familiar with that. Can you make a guess? It's the first picture. A hovercraft is a vehicle that travels quickly just above the surface of water or land by producing a current of air under it to support it. Let's write the word there. Next one is the canoe. Try to identify it from the three pictures left. Yes, first one in the second row. A canoe is a light, narrow boat with pointed ends and it is propelled with a paddle or paddles. Now the cable car. I think that it's easy for you to identify that particular picture. It's the one in the middle of the second row. It's a transport system usually used for traveling up and down a mountain. It hangs from a cable and moved by this cable too. Okay children, now we, let's see the last word. The last word is monorail. Yes, it's the remaining picture. Let's write the word there. Now children, do you know what a monorail is? A monorail is a railway system that runs on a single rail. So I hope you got all the pictures and words matched correctly. Okay, I hope you learned these new vocabulary items related to travel. All these words you learned are nouns. Nouns are the words used to name things, persons, places or concepts. Here we learn the names of these things used in travel and transport. Okay children, now that you have learned some nouns related to travel, let's learn a few verbs related to travel too. Look at this activity. Now here you have a list of verbs related to travel. They are all phrasal verbs. A phrasal verb is a verb that is made up of a main verb together with an adverb or a preposition. We'll learn about phrasal verbs in detail in another lesson. 
Now, do you know the meanings of these words? They are all related to travel. Let's find their meanings by matching each word with the correct meaning. You can pause the video and do it now. And children, if you want to use your dictionary, you can do that too. Let's see how you have done it. Look at the first one. Pick up. What does that mean? Pick up means to go and fetch someone from a place and take him somewhere else. For example, Samita will pick you up at the airport. Samita will pick you up at the airport. Note, we don't say pick up you. We say pick you up. The phrasal verb is split and the pronoun is used in the middle. Let's go to the second one. Check-in. Which one do you match with check-in? Check-in is to say that you register at a hotel. Look at this example. Please check in at the reception desk and sign your name in the book. Please check in at the reception desk and sign your name in the book. Now the third one. Check out. Yes, it's the opposite of check in. Check out is to leave and pay for your stay at a hotel. As an example, you can say, Guests should check out of their rooms by noon. Guests should check out of their rooms by noon. Okay, the next one. Take off. What does that mean? It is when a plane leaves and begins to fly. Let's look at an example. The plane will take off in a minute. The plane will take off in a minute. Now the next one. Set out. Set out means to start a journey. Pay attention to this example sentence. They set out on the last stage of their journey. Now the last one. Look around. What does that mean? That means to explore what is near you or in your area. Let's look at an example. I'm going to look around for one hour before lunch. I'm going to look around for one hour before lunch. Okay, hope you could match the verbs with their meanings correctly. Children, we learned some verbs related to travel. But these verbs we learned can have other meanings too. Okay, children. Now let's do an exam type activity. You are going to read a dialogue with some words related to travel. But some words of this dialogue are left out. You have to fill in the missing words with the options given. Here is your activity. You can pause the video and try it now. Okay, let's see how you have done it. Let's read the completed dialogue and you can listen to it too. Good morning. I would like to make a hotel reservation. Good morning, sir. What day will you be arriving? It's September 14th. I'm taking the Southern Expressway bus in the afternoon. So most probably I will have to check in around 9 p.m. How long will you be staying? I need a single room for three nights. I will check out on the 17th. What are your plans for the stay? I would love to look around a bit. That's fine, sir. Would you like a hotel vehicle to pick you up at the bus station? That would be nice. I plan to set out early next morning for sightseeing. Would you be able to arrange a vehicle for that too? Sure, sir. We'll make all the arrangements. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you got all the answers correct. Children, we have come to the end of today's lesson. In this lesson, we learned some vocabulary related to travel. In our next lesson, let's practice grammar. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe to this channel. Goodbye.